It is day two of the Enchantments backpacking adventure, and it is 5 a.m. Uh, just before sunrise here, and I am going to start my very packed day exploring and then leaving, sadly. Um, this morning has certainly confirmed that this is going to be my last day here, and it is the mosquitoes. Um, you can see. Look at the state of this. They're just waiting for me. Um, but it has become apparent how many bites I did get yesterday, and I cannot do two more full days of getting bit by mosquitoes. One is going to be rough as it is, but I am going to see everything that I wanted to see in the core enchantments today. And I'll go over my whole plan. Um, I am hoping to go explore all the core lakes. I want to go see Gnome Tarn and Prussic Pass. And I'm going to start the morning by summoning Little Annapurna for sunrise. Um, and I've decided that I'm going to descend via Asgard Pass, which will be dicey, but it will be faster. Um, and at this point, I would like to do the, the other way going has more feet of descent. Um, and I want to try and save my knees. So that is the plan for today. It is going to be a very full day, so I have to get going. So that is little Annapurna. Um, it's a pretty easy walk up from the core, so you just take the slope up to the summit. There's our route, so I gotta get down there and then just take that up to summon a little Annapurna. But there is a mama goat and her baby there.
Oh my goodness, this sunrise is incredible. Oh my God. I'm gonna be showing a lot of sunrise footage, so get ready for that. But oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Alright, so I'm looking up the route for Little Annapurna. It's just to follow these cairns and you just kind of walk up. There's a mountain goat there, um, so I gotta be careful not to uh, startle him. It's important to give the mountain goats lots of space. Um, and not approach them because um, they can be dangerous like people do get gored so you don't want to make them feel like like you're a you're a threat or anything by coming towards them you just kind of keep on going and let them do their thing so heading up little Annapurna beautiful beautiful mountain it's gonna be about 1200 feet of gain and oh my goodness the sunrise behind me is unbelievable Oh my gosh, this ascent of Little Annapurna is really fun. You basically just climbing straight up the granite and it's super grippy. Super fun. Huh. Also pretty easy, like of all the peaks to climb here in the enchantments, this one is the easiest. Um, huh. Get in there. All right, so I am almost up Little Annapurna. Um, the last bit is to cut across this field and then up that, so just kind of a, a zigzag, but it is extremely close. Uh, and I cannot wait for the view up top, because not only are we going to get to see what's behind me, but there's a view over that ridge.
the summit of Little Annapurna. Oh my goodness. It's a weirdly flat summit, but oh my god, the view is absolutely incredible. The bugs are still bad though, but oh my goodness, this view. This must be like a 2,000 foot drop. I have no idea. Look at that. Holy crap. Oh man. All right, so I'll point out some peak. So here we have Mount Stewart, and then this whole ridge, this is Dragon Tail. And then here's the upper core enchantments. I camped like right around there. This is um, Cannon Mountain, Enchantment Peak, uh, Edward Peak, the really pointy one, that's Prussic Peak, and then this one right here is the Temple. And then this right here is McClellan Peak. Oh man. And then someone's in the distance, so you can see Mount Adams, you can see Mount Rainier, and here you can see Devil's Head, where I was um, back at the beginning of, uh, end of June, and then Bean Peak also, so this is like the ridge that I took. Um, and then, looking this way, there's Glacier Peak, and then way in the distance you can even see Mount Baker. Four volcanoes! The only reason you can't see Mount St. Helens is because Rainier is in the way. But oh my goodness, what an amazing, amazing summit! I'm so glad I pushed for this. It's kind of interesting, the way this rock is, it looks like, um, you know, it was placed here. Kind of like castle stonework, but that's the natural formation. And I saw I have a friend coming. There's a mountain goat who's in the meadow over there, so I'm sure we'll be seeing him soon. Anyway, oh my goodness. <sighs> this is an absolutely incredible summit. Oh my gosh. This is insane. <sighs> absolutely insane. I'm not going to film too much of the descent down Little Annapurna, as you can see. Because, um, I mean, it's going to be a little bit harder going down than coming up, I think. But, I think this part on, like, the upper slope of Little Annapurna has the best view of, like, the whole core enchantments. So, just all... So this is Asgard Pass where I came up, and then it winds through here and then goes down there, and you can even see Snow Lake, which is the lower lake on the other side. Phenomenal view. Now all these lakes are 
unbelievably gorgeous, but the one behind me, oh man, I'll look at the map and see, uh, see what it's called. But this one, oh my goodness, that gorgeous blue with the way it's melting. That is, oh my gosh. Uh, I don't really feel like describing too much because I just need time to think and process what I'm seeing. So I just came off Little Annapurna, absolutely amazing. And now I'm gonna continue into the middle core where there's just gonna be some beautiful meadows, larch trees and everything. And this part is pretty flat. Um, gonna give my legs a break. Uh, and I'm also hoping to run into somebody because I left my sunscreen back at camp. Um, so I don't know, maybe you can see how sunburned my face is. I tried to, that's why I'm trying to cover up as much as I, as much as I can so I don't, I don't get burned. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if someone I run into has some sunscreen they'll let me borrow. Um, and going to keep exploring. It is looking beautiful. Oh my goodness. The only thing that would make this better is if the wind picked up and blew the bugs away. <sighs> but it's going to be beautiful nonetheless. Going to get an up-close look at Prusik Peak, which is another thing I have been wanting to see for a long time. This is why people want core enchantment permits so badly. So ordinarily this place is pretty crowded with day hikers and stuff, but if you get to backpack it, you can have all the solitude in the world. Like I just had little Annapurna all to myself. I've had these meadows and these beautiful lakes all to myself. <sighs> but yeah, a lot of people who um, don't get permits, they, they through hike it. They do it as a, a day hike, which is very intense. But I mean, why? You, you gotta do it, you gotta see it any way you can. make a, a big deal about the larch trees when it's October and they turn golden and I mean I I definitely agree but I think they are just as beautiful this beautiful spring green like it is a different green than I've seen on a lot of other trees it is really unique huh. but yeah, at this elevation, um, the large trees are pretty much the only trees here, which makes it just that much more amazing. But down there is Crystal Lake, and I've actually done a painting of that lake. And this is McClellan Peak, and then Little Annapurna where I was, right up there. But wow, what a view, oh my gosh. Oh 
my gosh. This view of Crystal Lake. Oh man, this might be another favorite for me. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh man, if I had gotten here at sunrise, that would have been phenomenal. Oh my gosh, this just keeps getting more and more beautiful. I cannot believe this. But there is Prusik, and that's where I'm hoping to go. And that's gonna be my turnaround point. <sighs> but I gotta enjoy this. Well, I am turning around. Uh, that back there, that is Prusik Peak. And it is a very cool mountain. And I was going to go to a little tarn below it, but the uh, bugs are getting worse the lower I descend. And I had a feeling that might be the case because there's just more vegetation and stuff down here. Um, but I, uh, I've already sustained so many bites so i am gonna head back to camp and enjoy this beautiful beautiful hike and hopefully climb above the cloud of mosquitoes i definitely made the right decision um as soon as I started climbing up above uh, Lake Perfection, the mosquito cloud has died down somewhat. So I think if I had kept going, it would have just gotten worse. Um, huh. So I will save Gnome Tarn for another time. Huh. And I'm cool with that. Having unfinished business in a place just is a good excuse to go back. Um, now, I also met a very nice fellow backpacker who uh, lent me some of his sunscreen. So hopefully I will not get atrociously burned um, and then I'll be able to reply more before I start my descent. But man, this really has delivered, you know, in a lot of unexpected ways, but it's delivered. I came up, I came up this to get a different view of Crystal Lake. Oh my goodness, so beautiful.
these three mountain goats are sunbathing and cooling off on the snow. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. Wow, there's the mom and her baby. And then there's four more, oh my gosh. Well, I made it back to camp and um, getting ready to go and stuff, but first I had to do some first aid. Uh, the bites are pretty bad, um, especially on my elbows and the, my, my leg, like the backside of my thighs is where they seem to like to bite. Um, so, and it's very difficult to like defend those parts of your body against them. So I put um, anti-itch and then uh, band-aids over my elbows so that um, they can't bite through because they've just been biting through my clothes. And then um, it is going to be hot today. Like it's going to be 95 by the time I get down. Um, but I'm going to double up on leggings. So I'm currently wearing, currently wearing my sleep leggings and I'm going to put these over um, so that they hopefully will have trouble biting through two layers. Um, I'm pretty heat tolerant. I really don't mind the heat at all. So, um, I think that will be fine. Um, but yeah, you can, uh, look, look for yourself. Yup. Oh my goodness. I 100% still say that this is absolutely worth it. This has, you know... I was thinking about, you know, the best things, I mean, that's kind of cliche, but the best things in life are things that you have to work hard for and usually involve a little bit of pain. <laughs> oh boy. And I just think that makes it kind of better because the enchantments makes you earn it. So I am going to pack up and then I have to filter at least two and a half liters of water for the descent and I am going to descend Asgard Pass. Um, the reason being, it is shorter. If I were to go out via snow lakes, it would probably be 15 plus miles. Whereas if I go down Asgard, it's six and a half. And it's the harder way, and my knees are gonna hate me, but it's gonna get me out quicker and with fewer bites, and that's what I am prioritizing right now. Um, and I think that that is smart. Uh, a lot of people, um, it, most people climb up Asgard and not down it, but people do it. It can be done safely, so I'm just going to need to take my time um, and really pay attention. But I've descended steep stuff like that before, so I think it will be pretty good. But... Um, Six miles to get away from mosquitoes is sounding a lot better than 15 miles to get away from mosquitoes. So I'm packing up to go and I'm actually having what was going to be tonight's dinner for lunch. So I got pasta and chicken, which is very good. Um, it's going to give me the salt I need and everything um, for this very warm descent. Asgard is completely exposed. Um, and uh, once I get down around Cold Chuck Lake, there's tree cover. So fortunately only, um, less than a mile of this is going to be full exposure, but I'm still not looking forward to it. It is going to be, it's going to be hot. Um, but yeah, enjoying my lunch and then I will organize this mess. I might wear the helmet going down just because people do send rocks down and stuff, so. I, uh, I packed up camp and I'm gonna say one last goodbye to Tranquil Lake um, before I start heading over to Asgard. Um, I'm definitely making the right decision. The mosquitoes are just getting worse, so I feel pretty good about this, but uh, took down camp. Looks just as I left it. Uh, an amazing camp spot. Oh my goodness. But um, I got to get going. My goal is to do it in four hours or less, which I think is feasible. 
So I'm just gonna take in Tranquil one last time. There's mama and baby goat. Oh my goodness. Goat's deciding she wants to come this way, so. I wanna make sure I give her her space. Don't want her to think she needs to protect her baby from me. I'm just a passerby. Almost to Asgard, and probably not going to do too many more shots with me in them. Um, and I'm definitely not going to shoot the descent. I'm going to need all of my attention and balance um, for that. So, but these little tarns up here are amazing. Back at uh, Asgard Pass, and I'm just going over to see mist pond and what it looks like in this kind of midday light because last night it was kind of like pre-golden hour light so i'm sure this light is kind of making that blue really pop <sighs> mist pond is like i said one of the parts of this trip i was looking forward to the most just that little tarn i don't know something about it say goodbye to Mist Pond and now begins the descent of Asgard and like I said I will not be filming I might shoot Kolchak from above if I stop for a break but um, I gotta descend a very steep 2,000 feet it's not gonna be easy but I'm pretty sure this is the right route for the best timing wise and bugs wise. God, I must look an utter wreck right now, but I made it down Asgard Pass safely. Oh my goodness, the hardest part is over, and I am in shade. Oh my goodness, shade. Um, the entire uh, core section of this hike is basically exposed 100% so it is exhausting like just being exposed to sun for that long um, but now I'm gonna make my way around cold truck and uh, get back down to the car but oh my goodness I am excited but also the Asgard Pass um, in the hiking community around here it's like regarded as the most difficult, you know, thing you can do on a trail. And I mean, it's tough, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's actually really doable. Like if you've trained and stuff, it's doable. You just go slow and you can get there. Same going down, like people say, it's, oh, it's too dangerous going down. Just take your time and go slow. That's really the key. But I mean, Asgard Pass is also like, I guess the way they talk about it, it's like the scary thing to be feared. And I mean, it is very intimidating looking, but it's also this beautiful alpine garden full of waterfalls and meadows. 
and larch trees, you know. It isn't, it isn't this scary part of the trail that the people make it out to be. At least in the summer, you know. Um, in the winter, it is scary. <laughs> Do not go on Asgard Pass in the winter, but uh, anyway, I'm actually getting a reprieve from the mosquitoes too, as you can see, which, oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, mentally, oh my goodness, that is a huge boost for me. And so I'm just gonna trudge these last four and a half miles back to the car. God, Kolchuk is basically a flat trail <laughs> compared to any of what I've been doing. So <sighs> just gonna take it all in. to have my snack because I was starving and I was definitely starting to see the symptoms of, you know, I needed to stop and eat if I'm gonna, you know, make it back okay. So, um, this is like the last shady spot before I have to go back across the boulder field there at the bottom. That's the last really tricky section, especially with a um, uh, heavy backpack. <sighs> But also no mosquitoes and there's a little bit of a breeze, so this isn't bad. <sighs> and uh, this is, uh, so this is my view. This is Kolchuk Lake. And it's, it's considered, a, it's a lower enchantment, you know, because um, it's not way up Asgard Pass um up in the alpine but it is still beautiful but it is probably one of the most popular day hikes in the entire state so in the summer if you come here it will have hundreds and hundreds of people um so you gotta get here early if you want to see cold chuck and have some solitude but the far side of the lake is really nice i should also mention i am here on a Wednesday, so, you know, might have something to do with it, but it is a pretty lake. I really want to go swimming, but uh, I'm not sure that's the best idea. Another time, maybe another time. Check Lake. I am tired. Oh my goodness, my legs are so done. But I am about to begin the longest four miles on trail, I think. Um, and then I'll be back at the car. It is also getting warm. Remember that heat wave I was talking about? Not at 7,000 feet anymore, so it's starting to hit. But yeah, it's probably not going to be too much more footage. I'll shoot some really pretty B-roll of the far end of the lake again. Um, and then before you all know it, I'll be back in the car. It's probably going to be another hour or two for me, but I am close. I am close.
my feet are thrashed, everything is sore, and I have at least 50 mosquito bites. That was amazing. Oh my goodness. Exhausting coming down, but oh man, I... I'm going to do like a wrap up of the enchantments as a separate video when I'm in a more presentable state of mind and appearance. <laughs> Cuz I'm partially delirious at this point, but uh I went through a lot today. Well, actually over the last 2 days and it was all 100% worth it. I am going to go to the cabin where the rest of my family is vacationing in Leavenworth at and have a shower and hopefully they have popsicles. But this was incredible. Trip of a lifetime. And <laughs> yeah, you can see I'm loopy. Um, I'd do it all over again in a heartbeat. All right, these are my favorite pictures from the trail today. It's not gonna be just four because I'm gonna have a hard time picking just 20. <laughs>